everyone. I am Mahesha Asiribardana. I am a PhD student from Department of Biochemistry, Memorial University of Newfoundland. Today we are going to do a very exciting and delicious experiment. So it is called depression ice cream. We will make ice cream without an ice cream machine or freezer. Let's see. Before jumping into the actual experiment, I am going to give you a little bit of science behind the ice cream experiment. So we are going to learn about concept called freezing point depression. Have you ever heard of freezing point? So what is it? Freezing point is a temperature at which a liquid becomes a solid. So we are going to use the freezing power of salt and ice to create ice crystals in milk without a freezer. In day to day life, if you want to make ice, what, what do you do? You have to put water into ice container and put that into the freezer. Then you will get ice. But here we are going to make ice cream without a freezer. Let's see how does that work. Therefore, here we are using freezing point depression. That means decrease in freezing point of solvent upon the addition of solute. Here we add solute salt to decrease the freezing point of the water. Let's see another example of freezing point depression. Have you ever wondered why salt is used to keep ice off the rods? So it is an example of freezing point depression. So during cold weather, salt and grit are usually applied to rods. The salt makes ice melt even if the air temperature is below freezing point. When salt is applied to rods, it dissolves in water and becomes a solute. Then the presence of solute lowers the freezing point of water. That means water will not get ice. Therefore, water on the rods can withstand cold temperatures without freezing for a long time. Now we can see how we are going to make ice cream. That's the most exciting part. So to make ice cream, we need milk, whipping cream, sugar, vanilla, two Ziploc bags, ice, salt, measuring cups, spoons, vanilla, thermometer. Now I'm going to explain you ice cream making process using this simple diagram. As you can see here, this outer box, which is represents the outer bag, which contains ice and salt. And the, this inner box contains milk and other ingredients. So let's see how to apply freezing point depression concept into this process. Usually, pure water freezes at 0 degrees of Celsius. If we add salt, it lowers the freezing point by a few degrees. This means when salt is added to the ice in the outer bag, the ice is above its freezing point. So it starts melting down. Melting needs energy, which in this case comes from the milk mixture inside the inner bag. Heat energy is absorbed from the milk, so it makes ice crystals in between the tiny fat, fat molecules inside these milk ingredients. The more salt is added to the ice, the lower is the freezing point. For the ice to melt, Heat must be absorbed from the surrounding. So then this milk ingredients will be freeze and it will give you ice cream. So this is how you apply freezing point depression into ice cream making process. Now we can enjoy our ice cream experiment and after that you can enjoy your ice cream. Today we are going to make ice cream without ice cream machine. Let's see what, what do we need for the ice cream. So we need milk, whipping cream, sugar, salt and some kind of measuring cups and we need small Ziploc bag and little bit bigger Ziploc bag and we need a vanilla and a thermometer and some ice. And also make sure you get some oven mittens or some kind of winter gloves. First 
take your small Ziploc bag. Then you might need your friend's help. Then um, you need half a cup of milk. Then add into the small Ziploc bag. And half a cup of whipping cream. And quarter cup of sugar. And quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Then you can mix all the contents in this small bag. Then thoroughly seal the bag. Then you need a big Ziploc bag and two cups of ice. Then you can uh, use the th thermometer to get the temperature of the ice. Then you can record it. Uh, get your bigger Ziploc bag and put two cups of ice into the bag. Then you need salt. We are going to add three quarter cups of salt into the ice. Uh, gently mix it a little bit. Uh, then you can put your small Ziploc bag with the, all the milk ingredients into the bag containing the ice. Make sure you seal it properly. Then there are your winter gloves or oven mittens. Uh, start gently mixing like this. Uh, you have to keep doing this for 10 to 15 minutes. At some point you will uh, feel this milk getting freezing. And after 5, uh, 10 to 15 minutes, you can feel all the contents in the small bag will soften. After 15 minutes, our ice cream is ready. So now we are going to check it. First of all, you have to get the temperature of the outside bag. Use the thermometer and put the thermometer inside the outside bag. Then you can record the temperature. There is our ice cream. So you can see it's uh, already frozen. So let's see. Ready. You can enjoy your ice cream.